all ages, uh, Hungar or Hong Kong, whichever way you pronounce it. Uh, let's begin. Shoulder width, round out. Face this way. Turn. One, two, three. 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 And one, two, and three. Palms in your waist. Take your right hand. Side bends. One, two, three. Switch. One, two, three. Switch. One, <clears throat> two, three. Yes. Okay. All right. So just hold on a second. I'm going to, we have two students. Yeah. Just follow me, yeah. So we have two students. Um, there was some confusion with the schedule or the wording. Um, people thought it was a live class, but it's live means streaming. And then on-site means actually at the academy because uh, the school opened yesterday. So those that are watching, school opened yesterday. So on-site means physical class at the studio. Live streaming means virtual through the camera. Right? So let's continue. Stand shoulder width. Yep, you can stay there. Yeah. Right there. Is that good? Doesn't block the camera? Good. Yeah, because, yep, perfect. All right, ready? Let's continue. Right hand up. One, two, three. Switch. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, Three palms down. Place your palms in front of you. Till forward, stretch. One, two, three. Switch to your right. One, two, three. Switch. One, two, three. Palms up. Inhale. Exhale. Again. Down. One, two, three. One, two, three. Switch. One, two, three, palms up. Inhale up, turn over, exhale. One more time, down. One, two, three, switch to your right. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, palms up. Inhale, exhale. Palms on your waist, waist rotations to your right. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Perfect. So when you do the waist rotation, try not to put your head down. Keep your neck straight. Okay, cross your hands. Okay, bend your knees. Turn to your right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Switch your hands. Perfect. Directions to the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Palms on your waist. Neck exercises. Turn to your right, then your left, all the way. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. One and two. Up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Tilt to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So when you have your hands, make sure they call this the tiger's mouth. So it's like an L. Perfect. And you can place your, like if you're holding. There you go. Perfect. Okay, circles. One, two, three, switch. One, two, and three. Okay, open up your stance. Heels out. Toes, heels, toes. Perfect. Extend your arms. Turn to your right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, and two. Okay, ready? Interlace your fingers. Turn to your right. Stretch. Good. So try to extend your leg a little bit if you can. Okay, switch. Good. Switch. Switch. Okay, stand up, turn. You're going to stretch your leg, bend from the waist. Good. So look at that direction. There you go. Good. Turn. Try to open up your stance. Okay, switch. Switch again. Okay, middle. Perfect. Okay, turn to your right. Try to hold your balance. Switch. Turn to your left. Okay, bend one knee like this. Perfect. Yeah, so let's try this. Up. Come up. Yeah, place your foot like this. Okay, turn. So for 45 degrees a little bit. Okay, extend. You can build like this. Yeah. This leg should be kind of straight. And try to, if you can, put your heel down. Yeah. Yeah, so this. Okay, switch. You can actually push inside like that. There you go. Might take a little while to figure it out. Oh, that's okay. OK, 
Okay, switch. Toes down. Switch. Okay. Place one knee down. Make it a lot easier. One leg at a time. And then open up this. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. So both palms like this. Okay. And try to, if your knee's like this, open up your knee like this. There you go. And if you can go down, just go as far as you can. If you can go like this. Or if you're more flexible, if you're watching at home, don't worry if you're not flexible. <laughs> I'm just showing you different ways you can do it. That's okay. Turn. The foot like this. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay, switch. Other leg. Go down as far as you can. You can only go this far, that's fine. Yeah. So your knee, face that way. There you go. Palms like this. And down. Or like this. Yeah, like if you're reaching for your toe. Okay. That's okay. All right. Switch. Go like this. Go to the floor. Okay. Your elbows. See if you can press down. Like that. There you go. You're flexible. There you go. Perfect. Now put your head down. Like your brother. There you go. See your... Most of the kids are flexible, so... If you get older, try to stretch. Okay, relax. Check it out. Okay, up. Okay, deep breathing. Inhale. One. Slow. Up. Down. So when you go down, try to control. Palms up. Inhale. Exhale down. Three. Okay. Ready? Knees. Palms up. Bring your knee up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. One, two. Outside. Bring your knee up and around. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. Palms to the side. Okay, bring your foot and your knee up. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, shake it out. Deep breathing. Inhale. One. Inhale when you go up. Exhale when you come down. Two. Three. Okay, punching. Feet shoulder width. Take your right hand up to your center. There you go, perfect. Okay, ready? Other hand on your waist. Punch. Okay, all the way out. Back. There you go. Okay, switch. So who's Calvin? You say, okay, Calvin. If you elbows like that, point it like that. Okay, switch. To the side. Okay. 
So Calvin, all the way out, all the way back. Let it go. Okay. Look where you punch. Okay, switch. Okay, next. Palms up. Okay, both. Turn. There you go. Okay, next. The edge of the fist. Okay, begin. Okay, switch. Okay, next, both palms in front, circular motions. All the way out, sack all the way out, back, forward, there you go. Okay, next, back fist. Okay, switch. Okay, palms down. Deep breathing, palms up. Inhale, exhale. One, two. Try to control your body when you come down. And three. Okay, horse stance. Kneels down, heels out, toes, heels, toes. Try to bend your knee. If you're standing up, bend your knee. Try not to tilt forward. Keep your spine as straight as possible. It's going to hurt at the beginning because you're not used to. Okay, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, Two, close, keep your arm. One, two, three. Low block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, extend. Close, keep your other hand. One, two, three. Okay, low block. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, and two. Extend your arm. Close. Keep your other. One, two, and three. Middle block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Extend. One, two, and three. Okay, high block, eyebrow level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Extend. One, Two and three. Hold three. Low, middle, high. Switch. Low, middle, high. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, and three. Extend. Close. One, two, and three. Okay, low block. Punch. One, two, Three, four, 
Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two. Both palms up. Close. One, two, three. Fix the mic. Okay, middle block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, extend, close. One, two, and three. High block. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, close. One, two, three. Palms together. Okay, open up your palms. Then your thumb. Last three fingers. Okay, press to the side. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, low. One, two, three, four, five, six. High. One, two, three, four, five, six. Front one, two, three, four, five, six. Keep your hands up, thrust, turn, flip, close. One, two, three. Okay, good. Now you're going to close the stance, heels in, toes, heels, toes. Shake it out. Okay, deep breathing. Inhale. Exhale gently. One, two, and three. Okay, kicks. Take your right foot, slide it back so you should be in the leaning stance. Okay, both palms up. So front in step. One, two, bring your knee up, kick. So you're kicking with this part. Okay, perfect. Okay, ready? Six counts. One. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. So when you kick, try to keep your hands up. Try not to go like this. Keep your hands up. Okay, switch. <clears throat> One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Perfect. Switch. Next call. I'm going to kick with the heel. One, two. Knee up. Push out. Good. Six counts. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, switch. Left leg. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, next leg straight up. Try not to bend the knee. Okay, one, two, three. Keep going. Four. Five and six. Okay, switch. Left leg. Okay, one, two, three. Mike's not working today. Four, five, and six. Okay, shake it out. Next leg, next kick, roundhouse to the waist, your own waist, 90 degrees. One, two, three, 
four, five, and six. Switch. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, similar kick. This time to your head, 45 degrees. Okay, begin. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, switch. Palms up. Two punches. One, two, kick. Two, three. Four, five, and six. Good. Shake it out. Okay, deep breathing. Palms up. Inhale. One, two, and three. Do you guys have water? Okay, we'll get a quick drink of water. If you're home, try to get a quick drink of water. We're going to continue with the five stances. And then we're going to do the first one. Mufakun. While I fix the mic. So just a reminder, if you have any questions, um, you can chat on the YouTube, and then uh, Lucien would answer. So if you want anything to be a little bit small, uh, slower and explain, you can request that. Otherwise, we won't know. All right. Let's line up. See you. Kelvin, right? Or Calvin? How do you pronounce your name? Okay. And your name? Zane. Zane. Okay. So we're going to do the five stances. I'm going to stand here from the beginning. Palms up. Okay. One. Two. Open up your hands. Turn. One. Turn. Close your hand. Make a fist. Pull back. One. Open. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. Down. One. Salute. One, two, three. Okay, next you're going to set up your hands. Okay, let me fix this. For some reason it's not working today. I think the mic was used before and it changed the size of the ear. One, two, three, block, slice step, turn, punch, step up, remove, turn, punch. Good. Cross step, double block. Make sure you bend your knees. Try to bend your knees. Okay, spin. Okay, eyebrow level, twist, punch, step up, punch. Good. Try to bend your knees. Step back. Okay. Leaning. Good. Up. So if you cannot hop, do it slow. One, two, three. Good. Uppercut. And then face this way. Leaning. Close. Okay. Ready? So this time we're just going to go straight into it. One, two, three. Block. Slice them. Punch. Okay, good. Step up. Remove. So take a step, leaning. Good. Turn, punch. Good. Cross step. Turn that way. There you go. Spin. Okay, point the elbow. Back fist that way. Okay, eyebrow level. So not too high. Turn. 
step, plunge. Good. Step back. Leaning. Good. Up. So you're going to hop. Chop. Uppercut. That way. Close. Good. Okay, ready? Face the, that way. Follow your brother. One. Two. Three. Open up. Good. Slice step. Turn, punch. Good. Step up. Leaning. Remove. Turn, punch. Cross step. Spinning. Point the elbow. Back fist. Eyebrow level. So it should be your left. There you go. Twist dance. Step up. Punch. Step back. Leaning. Up. Raise your knees so you should go up like this. Okay. Up. Chop. Uppercut. Close. Okay, face. Ready? One. Two. Slice step. Three. Step up, leaning. Remove. Turn, punch. Cross step. Good. So, face me. Bend the knees. Spin. Other way. Point the elbow. Back fist. Twist stance. Step up. Punch. Step back. Good. So see leaning. Good. Up. Up. Chop. Uppercut. And forward. So you're back where you started. Okay, deep breathing. Palms up. Inhale. One. Two. And three. Good. You have your mic on? Okay. So we did the five stances? We did, no, we just did it. So, yep, we'll do the first one. Okay. Okay, ready? So, like yesterday, just follow. Yep, first one. Muy fácil. Okay, ready? One, take it slow. Two, three, four. Five, six, one, two, three, close, one, turn, step, offset, high block, low block, twist stance, step around, turn to leaning, set up your hand, good, step back, block, scoop, uppercut, remove, Turn, punch, squat down, uppercut, okay, remove, punch, suspended, horse stance, lean to the back, lean forward, dragon fist, good, high block, punch, squat down, uppercut, slide step, Punch, squat down, trapping hand, okay, step up, cross, cross your hands, suspended, okay, cutting hands, step up, leaning, good, remove, turn, punch, okay, you're going to step, face the camera, that direction, remove, so from underneath, remove, elbow, Back fist. Good. Palm. Your left palm. There you go. High block. Outside crescent kick. Jump. Kick. Step. Press. Trapping hand. Good. Back fist. Remove. Punch. Step back. One. Two. Slice step, palm, scoop, press, kick, punch. Set up your hands, make sure you're in a horse stance, bend your knees, dragon. Set up your hand, step back, block, slice step, turn, punch. One, two, step back, one, 
two, three. Shake it out. Deep breathing. One, two, three. Okay, you guys have not done the second form, right? Okay, so let me call Sifu. Uh, second form? Hold on. So, uh, does Sifu want to take over? Yeah, so we're just calling Sifu to uh, take over the, the virtual class while I continue with the two students that are at the academy. So, in case you didn't know, you'll be in video you're on YouTube. <laughs> So just give us a second and see if it's going to come in. If you just tune in, the academy has opened. Yesterday was the first day. So it might be a little confusion with the wording. Uh, On-site means the class is face-to-face -face at the studio, live. Live stream means the class is virtual. So you can log into the YouTube channel. So Wednesdays usually. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so I was. Well, yeah, so you can go in the other room with mine for a while, and he'll, he'll go over that form with you. So because I'm going to do stuff that's a little bit, you know, beyond your level. All right. Okay. So um, so that was interesting. We have a couple of new students that were kind of following along now that we open. Um, so anyways, um, we'll go through the first form again. Okay, starting from here, ready? So I'm gonna go use the mirror, and we're gonna go through it, ready? One, two, three, four. Bend, pivot, high, low. Dragon, step, chun kill, scoop. Uppercut, remove and punch. Squat down, uppercut, remove, punch, suspended, Drunken fist, one, two, three, four. Okay, down, uppercut, sliding step, down. Elbow up, cross hands, one, two, three, four. Elbow, one, two, three. High block, crescent kick, switch, down, trap. Back fist, remove, punch, change directions, sliding step, palm, scoop, press, kick, punch. Okay, closing form. One, two, three, close, salute. One, two, three. Okay, good. Deep breathing. So yesterday in class, actually a lot of people got um, a review of the forms that you know they probably uh, been doing online, but we, they did the live class yesterday. <clears throat> so a lot of the uh, things probably were you know corrected. You know some of the people that came back you know went through the second, third, and fourth form. So you know with the second form, I saw some of the people going through this section where you palm, scoop, press jump back, one, two, three, twist, kick, phoenix eye. Okay, so that's that leg, it happens on both sides. So in the mirror side of it, <clears throat> we're here, sliding step, palm, scoop, press, kick, and then this is gonna be a kick, instead of going forward, you're gonna kick and step back. Thrust down, Open, chop, twist, kick, and a phoenix eye. Okay, so we did that in both the uh, you know, intermediate advanced and the beginner to intermediates because we're just uh, you know just back from a you know a long spurt of not coming. We actually uh, needed just to refresh. So with that, you know in this. Phoenix eye position, okay, we ended up doing the butterflies. So we're here, make sure you flip the hands, 
Step forward, go to horse stance, to leaning. Scoop, cross step, flip the hands, step forward, push. And we actually worked on this low, up. Low, it's like an uppercut, but actually it's a cross block it's because that's your final position. And then you step back to block, turn, and chop. Okay, so that turn and chop was something we worked on. One, two, three. Right? One, two, three. So that's striking to this part of the neck. Sword finger to trapping hand. So your hands are like this. You're going to turn. Take a step forward. Turn toward the corner. Press and thrust. Pull back. Drop your elbow. You're in this position with the middle block. Turn. And then we square up. Step back one, two, and three. Okay, good. So now, if we were to connect that to the other side, we have the elbow. So let's take it from here. Okay. Draw, sliding step, punch. Reach behind. So this is a standard elbow, strike down, back fist. Okay. Elbow, strike down, back fist. So it's elbow, strike down, back fist. If we look in this direction, it would look like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. So if you practice just those three movements, that's how you would cycle through the form by practicing you know, a piece of it. And once you get to a point where you're a little bit confused or the coordination is not there. You just work on that movement over and over again. Maybe, you know, a dozen times, 24, 36. You can work as much as you want to. It feels natural. So it's an elbow, a strike down, and a back fist is a hand movement. You're in the horse stance. Your elbow is like this. You look at the tip of the elbow aligned with the body. The palm is striking to the belly. Or anything low, or anywhere low, then the back fist, which comes over the top, this one comes underneath. So if I just reverse the movement, you would have this. You reverse it again, you would have this. So that's just a cycle, it's just reciprocating back and forth. Uh, this goes over the top, this goes underneath, this goes over the top, this goes underneath. So your uppercuts are these, so if it's in the front leg, you're like this. If it's in the back leg, you're like this, okay? So it crosses your body like this. So you see, if I cross like this and I cross like this, and I cross like this, you could see that your position is this and your position is this. So while we're doing that to the corners in the form, one, two, this would be to the front, one, two. So with a step up, one, two, toe out, step, three. So the positions are even, so the difference is in the leg. The difference is in the leg. So you see from the mirror image that you can pick up on that. <clears throat> so when you practice your form after you learn sequence and you memorize it, then you have to work the body positioning a lot more. So that really makes the difference between uh, a new person and someone that's progressing to, to the, you know, through the bank, uh, the belt levels. Because <clears throat> we start off students with a red belt, and then you add a few stripes on it, depending on which form you're learning. Then you get promoted to the blue belt level, and that's when uh, you learn Gung Ji Kun. And at, at that level, you learn that form and try to refine the first three or four forms and then you progress into the next stage. So blue level is pure refinement and understand more about what the techniques are for. And then when you get to the yellow belt level, that's when you would enter the, um, the
the next phase of learning Gungji uh, Fok Fu, which is really uh, one continuous long form. And you begin your apparatus, which is um, the staff form, which is that's the form I've been teaching on Saturdays. That's that's called the Lao Sui stick form, which is the um, the long pole. So, anyways, from there, in the second form, we have this position and that. Right, that's your press. That's the ending movement after the trapping hand. One, two, three. So, a lot of times, practicing movements, it's really taking the upper part of your body, which is your two arms, and then work the legs as the lower half. So you can break them down into two s sections of the body, working your hands and then the legs. Legs are actually harder to develop because of uh, the lack of coordination or maybe the lack of going into these stances um, as being something comfortable. Because stances are generally pretty awkward for someone that's not familiar with them in the beginning. And then as you get more familiar and more comfortable with them, the legs kind of adapt. But with the upper body, you want, this is your pressing block, which is really your low block. And then your thrust to the center is that. Now, because forms are sort of right side dominant as the offensive side, fingertip thrust, you can actually practice both sides to get a balance in movement. Okay. So the form really only has one side thrusting. Uh, for drills, you can practice both sides. So most of our drills, we try to work both side movements, just like you know, in this form, we have both of these already. So you already did the right and left side. Chun Kyo generally is block here, punch, block, and punch. So if you Chun Kyo on the other side, it's going to feel a little bit awkward. And um, one of the reasons why people feel a little awkward is because you've learned to turn in this direction. So if I turn like this, and I turn like this, because I'm doing this more, when I get to this side, and it's a left punch, it's going to be totally uh, different for you because your body is not used to turning in that direction. So you'll find in Gungji Kun, when you get to the fifth form, when we do both sides, you'll get up to a point where we do the dragon claw on the left side, and you'll find that that's going to be a little bit awkward. And we have the high block on this side in the second form. When you get to Gungji Kun and you do it on the left side, your hands are going to want to do this because this is what you've kind of programmed your body to, uh, to do. It's, it's a high block, a double block, high block in this. So when you step up, you have this side. And that generally is something that your body doesn't uh, coordinate very well because of the twisting of the opposite direction. So it's good to, like Chun Kyo here, it's good to block on the other side and punch, especially the basic punch. It's good to do the 180 degree turn. So it's not always learning forms, it's really improving uh, your transition and execution. So the right and left side punches are really important. You go one. So five stances works this. When we turn, here's your left punch. Okay. Draw, sliding step, left punch. So you hit one, two. Okay. So the left punch does show up later on in some of your forms. You know, like we have this, this this and this. That's actually in the eighth form. Well, actually, it's, the, it's in Fuk Fu. Used to be, we called it the eighth form, but it's really the follow-up to Gungji Kun. So you have your left punch there because the fifth form, or we call Gungji Kun, is you know, the, the pillar form. A pillar form is one of the forms that has a lot of essential movements in it. Then you... you finish that form, you will have your left and right sides developed. Uh, so a lot of the first couple of forms you learn, it's really what we call the right side offensive motions. So you block left, strike with the right. Okay. This is offensive elbow, striking 
backwards. So that's right-sided. We poke like this, we thrust, offensive right. So the, this is what you'll get familiar with because, you know, old tradition, a lot of people geared things toward the right-hand power side, left hand as the defensive side. But we know today that a lot of people are righty and lefty, so it's good to develop both sides. Although the form, only the instructors can do it backwards. Most of the students can only do it on one side as far as sequence. And, you know, we don't practice all our forms completely left-sided because a lot of our forms later on will have actually both sides. So, okay, so let's see what other movements I think you might have some trouble. So the difference between this elbow and this elbow. So the difference is that we call this a rolling elbow because you roll into it, right? This is called a thrusting elbow. So between the rolling elbow and the thrusting elbow, you have um, two directions of movement. This one comes from behind you and across. So most people are pretty familiar with that. This one comes from the front and then pokes to the side. So, so poking to the side is just driving it in that direction in a horse stance. This one rolling to the front in the horse stance. So all, both of those elbows are in horse stance. And what's the follow-up? On the rolling elbow, it opens up to a back fist. On the thrusting elbow, it drops down to this strike. So that's called a dropping palm. This is called a rolling elbow, and this is called a corner back fist, low. So when you learn the five stances, you've actually learned the corner back fist. In the first form, you learn the corner back fist off the elbow. Okay. So you're rolling and you're striking. So those are the same technique, just that they have different stances. The palm strike. Okay, here's a left-sided offensive movement because it comes off a, a right-left combination. So combination is a, a couple of movements combined together. Could be, you know, one and two would be a combination of two movements. You could have three like this one is three. And you could have many more than that. You can have it up to seven different strikes off of a, a series of movements, which, which becomes a combination. So that's... Uh, Building, you know, the ability to strike more than once. And that's something that has to be practiced as a cycle. Because cycling through, the more familiar body gets with it, the quicker it starts to happen. Because, you know, when you block and strike and then you kind of hesitate, you actually lost that opportunity. So the important thing is when you block and you start to strike, it has to cycle through. So it, as an example of how we learn to cycle through is, say, when we do the first low block and we punch, and then we change that to a, a block and a punch, change it to a block and a punch. From the punch, we go to middle and punch, go to middle and punch, go to high and punch. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I just varied the blocks to show you that one, from a single punching hand, it converts to something different. Could be a high block, could be a middle block, could be a low block. So that's how you kind of develop a cycling, but then changing that to a reflex action. Because when the hand is here and I go like that, that becomes a, a middle block from a high block. If I'm in a high block to a low block position or middle block, and then I go low, that's a continuation of that cycle. So, so we're building like these patterns, and we're also building a um, sequence of events. And these sequence of events are cycling through from point A to point B. And depending how quick you can get from one position to the next, is how you develop the action and eventually if it gets into your sort of subconscious behavior then it it becomes over time reflex so the reflex is a, actually came off so it's a conditioned reflex as how you react and then the the reaction time and speed really evolves differently for everyone depending on how how quickly you can respond but at the same time that response level really has to be somewhat accurate as how you perceive 
something coming at you. So if, a, so if there's a punch coming at you, you have to respond. If it's going up, you have to go up. If it comes down, you've got to go low. If it comes across, you have to use your middle block. So then it, then it will vary based on, well, if my hand is over here and it comes over here, what should I do? Do this or do this? So that's really um, selecting which is the best option. And in the beginning, you would work with a partner. But right now, we can't actually work with partner because of the social distancing. But working with a partner kind of helps you decide, you know, not quickly, but kind of in slow motion, sort of a scenario. If a punch comes here and I block it like this, what happens if it comes here? Then you would change, convert to a high block or follow up with a punch or from here, drop down to here. You have your diagonal strike. You have your middle block. You have your punch. So all of these become techniques. So that's sort of the strategy that we use, but it all stems from learning your basic foundation forms and the drills. So the more you do your drills and you know, the more you practice the individual units, like a block and punch, elbow, you know, dropping palm, elbow, back fist, or dropping palm, you know, it just cycles through. Because from an elbow, you can actually go to a back fist. From an elbow, you can go to dropping palm. So from trapping hand, you can go to a back fist. A trapping hand is sort of like a position where you have the dropping palm. So your body starts to recognize positions over time, and then it starts to go from one position. So that's really a transition, but then the muscle memory. Muscle memory is learning the positions, but it's really your skeletal position. So that's what we're dealing with. Your skeleton becomes the structure, and then you have to manipulate those bones to create the action. So that's um, you know the strategy in building good movement and um, where these blocks go. So it's high, middle, and low, low, middle, and high, right and left, left and right, up and down, those are the directions of your movement. Uh, forward and back. What's forward and back? Going forward, going forward, sliding step, going forward, retreat to stepping back, crossing behind and stepping back. St retreating could be turning. Turning. So you're turning on the withdrawal step. You might go to the side, side step. Go to the side, side step. You might go to the corner. That's a corner side step. So what's the difference between a side step directly and a side step directly? Generally, a side step, you're going to go in that direction. If you go in a side step angular position and you go off to the side but angle, then you're actually heading this way but avoiding something here and then coming back here. Avoiding here and coming back here. That combination of that maneuver, that combination, is really turning a corner. So turning a corner, if I go here and I turn back to here, I go here and I turn back to here, is a turning of the corner. So these are just strategies um, after you've learned form, because form is what you use uh, to cultivate your movements, but at the same time it houses these individual postures. Individual postures. So those are what we draw off of as techniques. So there's a lot of, um, you know, there's a lot to learn just taking from the first, second, and third, and fourth form that many of you learn in the red, red bell level. That's a lot of sequence. But take those sequences, begin to understand it and dissect it. So what happens in the red bell level is learning those sequences to develop coordination, sequential memory. When you get to the blue belt level, you refine those movements and understand how you begin to maneuver. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which cross uh, leg position? Yeah, you mean 
You mean you you mean the dra dragon flaps his tail thing, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, before we end the class, a couple of questions. One was from the single-legged position, and you hop and you go down. Where should your gaze be? Well, because we're changing directions. We're going from this position, then you should look to that back corner because that's where you're headed. Okay, so that you, you, your gaze goes like that. So you actually track the direction of your movement. If you're in the cross-legged stance like this, because your opponent would be there and you're moving away, then you have to look here. So that's a sight line, and yet that's what you do. So why do we do that? When your eyes follow the hands and you imagine a, a spot that you're targeting, a couple of things happen. You, people won't, don't actually realize that this happens. You, be, you de uh, develop perspective. And believe it or not, that perspective over time develops distancing. So you begin to know how when you shift and you turn the space and direction, then you can determine how far your opponent is away and how um, close you need to get to and how big a step you need. So that's really part of that hand-eye coordination training that you start to judge distance. But you don't realize that that's happening until later on as you progress. But anyways, on that note, um, we'll see you next time. Uh, subscribe, YouTube, and um, stay tuned. Thanks.